row eight here in Sepang. The warm-up lap begins here in Malaysia then. We have got... And I wanted to hear from Mick. Mick, what's it like to race here in these temperatures? Uh, so, I mean, you've done it. It's, um, you know, I think you've got to prepare yourself and you've got to prepare for cold, hot or whatever. So, for me, it was... For Malaysia Motorsport, a proud day for Hafiz Sarin and his family and friends gathered here at the Sepang International Circuit. Well, at, the, at the moment, Matt, the sun is shining and 100 is one year ago when he started from seventh and finished in fourth place. And although he was penalised those six grid places yesterday, Mark Marquez still the top Honda on the grid, believe it or not. There's Mark Marquez. He's just got Danny Pedrosa up alongside him at the moment. Rossi it is that still leads. Zarco is up behind him. We're now looking back at... Oh, Marquez and Danny Pedrosa touch. Marquez versus Davizioso. How many times have we said that over the last 18 months in the MotoGP World Championship? Marquez then bringing up the inside of Davizioso on the brakes into turn number nine. Still Rossi, though. The I think that was him reacting to the Marquez mistake. Hafiz Sarin, the good news for Malaysian fans, I was about to say, there was no jump start, so what a launcher, what an aggressive first lap from the home crowd. Just avoiding action. Did he grab a handful of brake, maybe? Who knows, but... You're, you're right, guys, it's his reaction. Yeah. Like, automatically, you put a bit of input into the bars to avoid, but when you're on the edge of the tyre, it's enough to make it lick up. Non Andre De Vizioso, that's a battle we've seen plenty of times before. He gets into the slipstream now, further back. There's Rins, Petrucci, there is Bautista, Maverick Vinales, and in 11th place still, Hafiz. The three in front of him at this stage of the race, in theory, should have the slightly better grip. That soft rear tyre, we've got up to 10 a little bit quicker. They should have the extra grip right now in this phase of the race. Marquez, Zarco, oh, yeah, Rossi. Yeah, yeah. Season best fourth place replacing the man we just saw on your screens, Jorge Lorenzo. All over the tail. We're on board with uh, Vinales, desperate to find a way past fellow Spaniard Bautista. But can Quite clearly, Mavri Vinales, Andrea De Vizioso, and Mark Marquez. Valentina Rossi and Joan Zarco, though, are still making the early running here. Maverick Vinales has got so much work with Honda, and he thought, well, I've got to do something about it. And as Simon said, the input with his body through the handlebars, it just meant that. He crashed out of contention. A real shame for Andrea Yannone. His teammate Alex Rins at the moment. Second faster than Miller on the Alma with Ducati. And you can see Miller's just fallen to the clutches of Andrea De Vizioso as well. So this hot early pace. Jack Miller struggling to run it. De Vizioso picks his pocket in the... Carol Abraham, confirmation on your screen there. Rossi it is that leads. It's just under four tenths now. It's come down. Zarco has just started to reel in. Valentino Rossi. Oh, it's a mechanical, yeah. I was just about to say that. Petrucci also now proving a bit of an obstacle for Vinales, although he has just taken at eighth place, although Petrucci's just struck straight back, so there's a real good fight going on there between Petrucci and Vinales for a Marquez Rossi showdown again. That's going to be super, super tight between Pedrosa and Jack Miller, the pair of them leaning on each other. Danny Pedrosa then picks up another place. He goes up now into fifth place. Fasto has been tyre durability, managing the tyre wear. Tends to win the final five or six laps, run out of rear grip with Valentino Rossi. Big load of wheel spinners, De Vizioso, engaged in a real big fight. Clawing back with 14 laps in the corner left to go here in Malaysia. Hafiz Siren is still in 11th place and he's pretty comfortable there as well. Across the line for Rossi then. The 201 after Ian Oni's departure at turn 15. He's now got some clear air and a chance to close in on Danny Pedrosa who's having a good ride here in fourth place. Well his bike was on fire in the pit lane. Marquez a fraction slower by a whisker. 201, 147. Zarco a fraction slower than Marquez at 201, 156. Just two hundredths between that just under lines. How crucial those four DNS were for Andrea De Vizioso in Jerez, in Le Mans, in Barcelona. And three weeks ago in the Twin Rumatagi, where his faint world championship hopes were completely ex As you were into turn 15. Under braking, Marc Marquez really is making up a lot of time. Putting a lot of force and energy into that front tyre, as Marc Marquez always does. But as we cut... But it was Valentino Rossi. The doctor made the dream start. Look how much drive Rossi got off the line. He must have dumped that clutch the second, the millisecond the lights went out because of corner entry to Jack Miller. So he's dropped back through the pack quite dramatically, quite alarmingly. He was third on the first lap was Jack Miller fighting with this man, Joan Zarco. Mark Marquez last time around, half a second quicker than Joan Zarco. So the Frenchman at the moment, he can't live with this electric pace being set by Rossi. Zarco. He's got baking hot here in Malaysia. Hafiz Sairi doing an outstanding job. Look at that, he started 23rd. He was already on the fringe of the top 10 at the end of the first lap after a brilliant launch off the line. A really aggressive finish, just that rear tyre overheating and just no grip underneath him at all. 10 laps gone, 10 laps remaining, and Valentino Rossi puts in a 2 minute point nine. Not only is it his fault. From the doctor. Halfway point of the race, everything going well for Rossi. Marquez just struggling a bit to stay with it. He doesn't want another DNF. Yes, he's the world champion and it doesn't matter so much, but he won't want to be beaten by Valentino Rossi here in Malaysia. No. So he will be putting everything into these last... On the factory Suzuki, it will be six in a row. When you come back to Valentino Rossi, he's currently in his worst ever barren run in terms of podiums on a factory Yamaha. In 13 years, Alex Rins, well, that was inevitable, really. Rins has been 
taking lumps out of Danny Pedrosa over the last three or four laps, and he's finally found a way through. So Alex wins up into fourth place. Pedrosa will have his hands full with the flat, yeah. will do. Again, like you say, Steve, it's another 2.010. How many of those has he reeled off in the first 12 laps of this race? Just keeping that cushion over Marquez at 1.2 seconds. Lynn Jarvis and the Yamaha management look on. And what they're looking at is their man, Valentino Rossi, at the moment. Marquez has just taken a tenth out of him on this first sector on lap 13. And two, two was uh, his last lap, so he's well over a second off the pace, just uh, struggling for rear grip. It has not been the Ducati's day at all, the top Ducati. Andre De Vizioso in seventh. In one and a half laps to Marc Marquez. Ladies and gentlemen, cue the Jaws music. Marc Marquez is coming. Yeah. Maverick Vinales is past the uh, Repsol Honda. The eyes of Marc Marquez are firmly fixed on a movie star Yamaha up ahead of him. Despite that moment, let's see if he's lost any time through Sector 3. He has just lost the tech. Marquez was going to think about the team championship. Who thought he was going to think about the constructor championship? That's all gone right out the window because he's got Valentino Rossi right in his eye line for the victory here in Malaysia. Maverick Billy is eight tenth of a second as they come through the first two sectors on this lap number 15. On the brakes, look at Marc Marquez. Unbelievable, it just closes up so much. But he really is going to have to go some here to beat Valentino Rossi, who, it has to be said, has been absolutely perfect. He's not made a mistake all race yet. They're on turn five, blisteringly fast. Marquez had a huge moment here earlier in the weekend. Don't forget the sun's still baking down on us. We've got to hope now that the clouds don't produce any rain. Let's get up the three, we can't. And Marc Marquez is still six tenths behind Valentino Rossi as we head on to the back straight. Marquez yeah, really is putting some energy in those... Leading by six tenths of a second, and the Doctor goes down! A disaster for the Doctor, unbelievable. Can you believe it? Valentino Rossi on course. The thing you need well, to know. Well, Christmas has come early yet again for Marc Marquez. Andre De Vizioso jumped off in Japan and let him win the World Championship. And Valentino Rossi, what an... Undertaking. Marquez was coming, it's a shame we were robbed of a special finale. Thomas Vargaro is retired from this race. Three laps remain. Marc Marquez leads by 4.2 from Joan Zano. I is it possible that he I think, I think that was a bit like Le Mans, you know, on the last lap with Vinales, where he actually lost the rear. He's lost a couple of tenths already on this lap. So he's just did a bit of a brick wall, Vinales, in terms of his podium charge. Started eighth did Rins, he's up to third. He might force Suzuki if he stays where he is, and that would be equaling that record from 2007. He's got Vinales covered. Vinales is running out of steam here. He lost out to second, provided he remained on the podium. It's been a long time.